Now this week is my full review of the Sinus T380. Do bear in mind that I have already made a first ride video with this bike, so do check that out and I'll put a link up here. All right, so what's she like then? Well, for turning into corners, it's fantastic. We've got that nice big 19 inch front wheel down the bottom there. And uh, power wise, it's all mapped quite low on the uh, fuel injection side of things. And the gearing is quite low as well. So there's pros and cons with that. Hang on, lovely. For uh, off road, that's going to be ideal. But for on road, it's going to be great for around town, but it might get a little bit lost out and about on the uh, on the faster roads and certainly on the motorway. I have found myself getting to 30 mile an hour and uh, being in sixth gear, which is a, a bit, um, bit of a strange one. But that's being said, we've got a lovely TFT screen there. Um, the seating position is fantastic, much like the 125 version of this. Um, and in fact, there is a lot of the parts from the 125 moved over I think. I think the handlebars are the same. So they are relatively wide but it definitely feels better to steer than the uh, 125 and to lean in purely because of the uh, gyroscopic effect of that front wheel and with it being a, a smallish bike, relatively light, it has got quite a nice feel to it going around corners. Right, so let's see what the sinister terrain is like in traffic. Now I've got the wide panniers on here, so I've got to be very careful with that. Because you never know quite where they are sometimes. But with the 19 inch front wheel, it's very responsive. I won't be going down there today because I'm too wide. Regarding power, getting away from the lights, uh, there's still enough there. But it's not the quickest uh, 350 stroke 400 bike on the market that's for sure but as I say for agility it is very very agile with that uh, 19 inch front wheel nice big chunky gear lever or shifter should I say and the seating position is quite high up as well you're in a quite a commanding seating position on this bike but you soon end up in sixth gear even when you're only doing I don't know what 28 miles per hour at the moment it's almost like the third, fourth and fifth and sixth gear are, are just sort of uh, so close together. Surprised they didn't sort of bring that out a bit more really. It's all going on suspension. Uh, the front is adjustable and it works very well. It's very nice indeed. Probably helped by the 19 inch front wheel. The rear is okay as well but I am finding it does bounce over the bumps more than uh, dampens them nicely. The seat is relatively comfortable but it will uh, is starting to bug me after about half an hour. The bars are at a nice height and even for off-road standing up on the pegs much like the T125 it's very very good very comfortable. So switch gear wise is quite nice uh, it's all very basic really, it's quite nice to have a basic bike again. Just got your hazards and your indicators and the horn on the left. Uh, the uh, flasher, high beam, low beam and on the right hand side is a kill switch and a starter button. Simples. This bike has got ABS as well. Oops. So uh, again, over the 125 version when you've got the link brakes, if you're going off road, then this is going to be much easier than a T125 off-road for sure you know because of the independent braking that is important sometimes on on off-roading of course to look at the screen in the sunlight it does get a little bit lost quite often um, and I do find myself having to consciously look through the sunlight uh, to see my speed all right let's take her up to 50 Fourth, fifth, sixth, sixth gear. 
50 miles an hour at 5,100. Again, it's got quite a nice gyroscopic effect when you're at this speed and turning in. Okay, so national speed limit. Let's take her up. So we're 6,000 now. Right, 7,000 and we're nearly at 70. So I'm going to take it up to speed now. And already it does feel like it's revving quite high. Yes, yeah, 6,200 at the moment. So to be honest, I think that as a motorway cruiser, dual carriage race, I think you probably wouldn't want to do too much of this. Purely for that reason, it is revving quite high. The screen is uh, doing actually quite a good job. It's not even very noisy, no turbulent air seems to be cutting through really well. I'm trying to find where the wind is actually hitting him. It's actually going over my head. So the screen is actually pretty good. I don't even think you'll need an extender on that. Let's see what its credentials are like off-road. Oh, we've got the 60 40 tyres are the rubber pegs removable? Mm, no, not unless you force them off, in which case, oh, they might be actually. But they don't come off easy, I guess that's a good thing. Got a decent uh, big brake lever there as well. Ground clearance is surprisingly high off the ground actually. What's that? You got, I might measure this later, but you have got a good. Oh, that's a good 200 millimetres at least. Brakes, a nice big tyre, which reacts quite well. Relatively wide bars. It does turn quite lightly, this bike. Great big gear lever there as well. Nice big chunky thing. That's, again, that's quite a nice thing. Normally they've got a small peg on the side, haven't they? Whereas this peg is quite big. Yeah, no, actually, you know what? This is an off-road bike. I would say it's pretty good if it's just, you know if, if you're gonna just do off-road as in light off-road then this bike is where it's at home it's more at home off-road than what it is on road <laughs> silly little side stand there lets it down after all that all those nice comments there's a lot to be said for this bike off-road you know the suspension is too bouncy on the back really for the heavier stuff but it's actually pretty pretty comfortable and pretty good obviously it's quite soft power so you're not finding that your back ends fly, flying around all over the place i mean is that off-road well that's debatable isn't it that's where i went last time and i got a bit stuck it's a really good bike for learning your craft actually it's the sort of bike i would advise any sort of uh, off-road training school to have for that reason because it is so light and agile and uh, easy to manoeuvre. Right, I'm going to walk around the bike now and I'll tell you exactly uh, what I think of it and some of the specifications. Well, first of all, let's take a look at the bike. Now, we're all thinking the same. This is very much like a, a BMW Stroke Triumph. Uh, it looks substantial. The crash bars are, are nice and strong and uh, we've got the big poignant 19-inch uh, front wheel there with a twin disc. You know, to look at this bike, it really does look really, really cool. And it does look very much very much a road-ready bike. Uh, however, as I think I may have said already, it, it does feel to me more of an off-road bike. I think if they put knobbly tyres on this, then it would sell really well as an off-road bike. As an on-road bike, it's not uh not not so good i don't think um it still works you can still get around fine and but it, it's just not its forte its forte is to be off-road and it does behave very well off-road actually so the sinisterrain t380 is a twin cylinder 378 cc liquid cooled engine which produces 37 brake horsepower at 9,000 RPM and 35 newton meters of torque 
at 6,500 RPM. The starting price of these bikes are 4,500, or if you want the added boxes on the back, then it goes up to 4,800. Right, so who's this bike going to seat? Well, it's going to seat people that have originally owned the T125, which I thought was a fantastic bike and are going to be moving up maybe they've done their a2 license and uh, they're looking for something a little bit bigger but similar at the same time as the t125 right so to sit on the bike it is quite a tallish bike i would say i'm nearly flat foot in it but not quite uh, it feels surprisingly heavy for a 380 on top the front shocks are pretty good. Uh, they, the, the suspension on the front is, I, c I can't really pick folk with it really, and it is adjustable. Uh, whereas on the rear, it does bounce around quite a lot. So the bike weighs in at 200 kilograms, which seems to me to be quite heavy for a bike of 380 cc. And it does feel quite heavy as well when you're moving it around off of the stand. Now, let me tell you some of the things that I really like about the bike. Uh, first of all, we get a three-year warranty and one-year roadside assistance. The TFT screen is pretty good, although in the sunlight it does get a little bit lost. The 18-litre fuel tank, which will last for ages. Uh, the centre stand as a, as a freebie chucked in at the same time is, is good as well. And it, let's face it, it's needed because the side stand isn't up to much. The USB port on the dash is quite useful and we have the phone connection uh, to the screen as well which basically just shows who's calling you. Uh, the things I don't like so much about the bike and please do try this bike for yourself before you take my word for it is the bouncy suspension on the rear. Uh, the engine I, I feel is uh, could, could do with remapping to, to give it a bit more uh, mid-range I think is what I'd, I'd like to see there really and uh, and also the gearbox as well is uh, when you go up into third gear fourth fifth and sixth just seem a little bit lost they seem to not really do a lot you might as well just go from third straight into sixth really to be perfectly honest with you uh, and I also love these boxes as well, I uh, forgot to mention that, these boxes are very good quality, um, very strong. So let's get back on the bike and have another ride. But anyway, there we go, that is the end of the review. Thank you very much to Sinis for lending me the bike. Uh, for an experienced person, you need to sort of lose the mindset that this bike is going to uh, set your world on fire, speed-wise and acceleration, because uh, it's not really built for that. It's a bit more of a plodder, you know, stroke off-road, uh, decent off-road machine. But anyway, for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do comment, do subscribe if you haven't been here before, and uh, give it a big like as well, would be very much appreciated. See you Monday at 4 p.m.